Hello everyone and what is going on? Happy Orient Blue GT here. We got ourselves for having a four brand new vehicle for this update on Gran Turismo 7. Update 1.36 as part of the August 2023 update. Here we have a good excellent image is now showcasing to have a Maserati MC20 one for the first generation Corvette in the 1958 model Toyota GR Corolla Mariso Edition and the ambulance itself is now being arrived. So it turns out there is also to have a very good extra brand news to have this part of the cover because the Gran Turismo movie is about to be set exclusive in theaters August 25th. This is going to get much more fine excited out there for this update folks and even of course to have one additional variation to the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 2018. So now we have a different kind of the menu background style that related to the Gran Turismo movie is about to be exclusively in theaters on August 25th that is based on a true story. So this is going to be so pretty awesome and even of course to have one additional variation to the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 in the 2018 model is now putting up to have a brand new variation. Let's have a good look on the detail for only one part of the update in 1.36. Four cars are now being added to have some different selection. Three of them is now being available at the Brand Central and the first generation Corvette in the 58 model is now being stationed at the Legend Car dealership. The Toyota GR Corolla Mariso Edition 2022 car will be available to experience in Round 7 of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup on August 27. Prior to its official release, it will also be available to test drive in practice mode once the server maintenance on Monday, August 7 has been complete. Additionally, players who entered the TGR GT Cup and registered a time in the points ranking on any round using their online ID will be received this car as a gift. The car will be delivered on August 28th. It will be also be available to purchase from the Brand Central in late September. Just like the Toyota Ambulance High Medic 2021 will be received early as a gift by entering the viewers campaign banner in the top right of the world map and watching the Nations Cup broadcast from the World Series Showdown 2023 Amsterdam event taking place on August 11 and 12. The car will be delivered on either 14th of August or 21st of August. Depending on when you view the broadcast, it will also be available to purchase from the Brand Central in late September. Same goes to the GR Colora. Now, this is going to have to take a good, excellent, brand new livery variation to the 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 is now being based from the Gran Turismo movie. Players can receive the GT Movie Livery Edition GTR as a gift by watching the trailer from the celebrate the release of the Gran Turismo movie. Banner on the world map from the 7th August to late September. So there might be some new events going on for having some new expansion on World Circuits. American Sunday Cup 600 for the Michelin Raceway, World Atlanta, Dragon Trail for the Hybrid Car Parade, and of course Red Bull Ring as well to have the same event to go additional along with High Speed Ring to have a World Touring Car 800. Sounds like a competition to have the best place to be here on the legendary Gran Turismo racetrack. There is also to have two additional brands has been added to the museum selection in Brand Central, BAC and Fanatic. Fire station location has been added as a feature curation in Scape. Next up, there is also to have three extra menus on number 26 is collection Maserati is now available on collector level 40 and above. Aston Martin on the number 27 between in collector level 44 and number 28 is the K cars is now being stopped at collector level 27 and above. With these all kinds of set of car designers and characters appearing in the cafe when using each kinds of the cars, these new conversations can be accessed by changing to the following cars in garage and speaking with the characters in the cafe. Follow them because 
all kinds of different vehicles would be required to interact with these kinds of car designers and characters as well. There is might be have some new engine swap have been added to the following cars are now being unlocked at collector level 50. One for the Chevy Camaro C28 1969, 1989 for the fourth generation Chevy Corvette CR1, Ford Mustang Boss 429, Ford Shelby GT350R, and the Shelby GT350 1965. Other improvements and adjustments that you guys might gonna have to pause this, so I have to keep scroll down before I proceed on to the music rally. One part of the following event in Music Rally is Drift, fix an issue where progression would sometimes be halt during the following event. Sounds like my green light to go because everything comes in to have a new feature to have some additional to the Music Rally. I'll have to be patient and wait until the problems will be solved. All kinds of different options and features to the update, but there might be have some additional to be on the race screen. The MFD has been putting up with some 5 levels, it's now being adding up to have some additional zoom level for the rhetoric is in use. So everything is that. In that case, you guys might gonna have to check it out for the detailed update on the Gran Turismo, Re Gran Turismo website before I'm about to stop by at the world map. But before that, let's have a good look. Oh sweet, very nice, awesome, and good to be received to have a good Gran Turismo movie exclusive on the 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. To celebrate the release of Gran Turismo, we're giving away the GTR GT3 as sounds good and being stored in the garage. All right, looks like. That takes one good excited trailer out there for this part of the video segment folks. Now let's get down to do some car collection to stop by at the Legend Car Dealership. Being available at the hot price selection and this time the first generation Corvette is now being available in the 1958 model. Well perhaps this one is the updated version. Somehow, other Chevy fans and Gran Turismo players maybe preferred to have the very original to the first generation Corvette was being designed in 1954. But 1958 that is, this one is very good best of the classic for this part of the classic vehicle to its day. Station at the price is now being placed on 126,000 credits, total distance 944 miles. But even of course, there might be having one extra surprise for this part of the update when you stop by at the Legend Car Dealership. A special pick is now being shown as well when it comes to have all kinds of different selections of vehicles like the Aston Martin DB5 1964. But I'll have to take a good look and inspect for this good vehicle. The body color on the first generation Corvette is Sunnet Red. Looks so beauty and very good to have a nice classic first gen Corvette is now being welcomed to GT7 for the first time ever. The performance is now being shown on the displacement is 4638cc drivetrain FR layout, 243 horsepower slash 4900 RPM, max torque 3000.1 foot LB slash 4000 RPM. Aspiration type is naturally aspirated. The performance point is actually to be well default by 430.34. Sounds like a very good classic beauty and perfect moment to have that first gen Corvette can be treated as an Art Morrison variation from the SEMA version. But not to mention because there's also to have one other thing to have the first generation Corvette. A Barbie themed variation from the Barbie movie. But you guys may ever remember about the first gen Corvette in Forza Horizon 5. Well, maybe this might have a very good slight interesting to have one pink Corvette to be re related to the movie. So let's learn more of the details about the first gen Corvette. The Chevrolet Corvette is undoubtedly one of the world's most famous sports cars. 
when it made its debut in 1953. It quickly became known as America's sports car because no other car like it exists in the U.S. The car was noted for its attractive body style and powerful engine. The original 1953 were built mostly by hand and only a 300 units were produced. Still, they were incredibly popular and the next year, General Motors increased production of the car. This 1958 model exhibits a thoroughly new design with four headlights. So this brings a good correction to the update first generation Corvette that adds up with the four headlights. Originally to be designed in 1953. Only the original Corvette, but the second one in the first gen model is very good to be excellent to be true. But anyway, I still am a proud Corvette fan. I could purchase and add it to the car index will be registered to have a good classic beauty Corvette. But one other thing because my Toll Drama OC Genesis is giving me a heads up notice to have a car collection quest for this part of the August update. So hello sweet beauty, collector points at 126. But well, I'm always in it and accepted to drive with Corvette vehicles from the past and the present. I'll have to make that for only car number two to be registered to be purchased as a wide body modification. But can't argue with that. Maybe I'll have to take a good watchful eye out to have a good activity to do this part of the live stream video. Just for having a sneak peek preview but only an encore content video later on that I just really might need to take some time to do some relaxation and go with some chores. But anyway, one good classic beauty, first generation is a good taste. Now on to the brand central. I guess Maserati is now being available for the lineup because it's all about one of the best hypercars since the MC-12 is now being drive since the crew and the crew 2. On to Europe for the Brent Central and have a good look to have a good taste of the hypercar on the MC-20 is now being available for the showroom. And here it is. The 2020 Maserati MC-20. Perfect hypercar to be well based from the crew 2 and then being entered onto Gran Turismo 7. But don't worry, I'll have to keep much more eye out to have the number of viewers because this is going to get much more excited out there to have some new vehicles for this part of the update. The car price is now being stationed at 300,000 credits. Not so bad after all, but I kind of like it. Displacement is 2998cc, drivetrain is mid-engine layout, 621 horsepower slash 7500 RPM 538.8 foot LB slash 4800 RPM Aspiration type is turbo Let's have a good check on the color selection is now being available by 6 This one is the white known as Blanco AU Dance Greek Geo Maestro Nero Enigma Blue Infinito Rosso, Vincent, Galalo, Gianato. Looks like that might have six color is much more perfect to be indeed. So let's learn the details about the MC20. Every gearhead knows that Maserati was founded specifically to build race cars. Released in 2020, the MC20 is a genuine mid-engine sports car that carries on the noble tradition. Its twin-turbo V6 engine features an F1 delivered pre-chamber combustion system. Not only does it offer a smooth ride on city streets, but it can hold its own on any racetrack. Sounds sweet, just like the MC12. 
but the MC20 is a very good place to drive around on the city course and even the racetrack is much more perfectly to be well exactly indeed. So I had to take that and go for the white color, add it, register to the card index for card number two for this selection. But the bad news is we have to keep a good watchful eye out on two Toyota vehicles will be available at Brand Central by sometime around in late September. That goes with 300 collector points. Hello sweet beauty of the MC20 from the hypercar in the Crew 2 and go with the road car in Gran Turismo 7. Well, I can't admit because two cars are now being available except two of them is all we have to be patient. Now let's have a stop by to go over at the scapes to have a good look on the selection in fire trucks. Well I kind of admit because when it comes in to have some scape backgrounds it's all about to have some emergency services like police, hospital, and fire station is all together to have one part of the exact much more related to have different vehicles. So here is the new scenes of the scapes is now featured to have fire station. The first line of defense against regional disasters. Let's enter to have a good look by inspection. Nine selection is now being available but this one is now being located in Fukuoka, Japan. Well, I guess that might have a very good excellent background scenes to have some ambulance and fire trucks all together. But of course, each kind of 9 selection by day and night is now being located in Fukuoka in Japan. So I'll have to take a good look and go for having a one best selection pick for having a preview look. Maybe gonna have to go with Japanese police vehicle by the way. Go for the manufacturer. Select Toyota. Alright now let's see. Gonna have to take a while to have all the card thumbnail image to be yet appear. But I still got the Toyota Crown Atlee G safety cars is still perfectly to have a best pick. Maybe I'll have to go with Sanders from the Redunculus Race livery to the same Crown Atlee G safety car. But it'll have to do just to have a good placement to have a nice good excellent photo view. Just gonna go with rendering. Be patient. All right, picture perfect indeed. So very nice to see how Polybity Digital is putting up to have some different selection scenes to have some fire trucks and ambulances in the game to have some good placement onto the same building. But of course, when it comes in to have some good emergency vehicles like police, fire trucks, and ambulances, just the job is much more perfectly to have all kinds of good activities to go around to have some helping hand on people. Now let's go enter in sport mode to have a good look for having a brand new special lap time challenges. It's going to be take place at Red Bull Ring for the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 2018 based on the movie. But it takes over a month by having a total of days ever since from August 7 from yesterday. 50 days left but we still got enough time you guys and even of course to have some two available lap time challenges as regular. I'll have to take a good look. So here we have new set of the target time objectives for the Red Bull Ring for the 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. 1 minute 30.839 seconds to have a good goal position will be received to have 2 million GT credits. Just like the movie but only in the game is a very good excellent opportunity as Gran Turismo players to get there to be participate. 
but some of them has already entered because it takes a lot of good excitement taste out there to see all kinds of new cars, new challenges, and best of the best references is now being inspired from the movie. So on to the 7th round of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup at Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta for the GR Colora Mariso Edition 2022. So I had to went down and go with free practice, but correction is a very good guess that will have to be a very good one specified vehicle will be available. Only for the preview for the GT3 and GT2 players will have to take 12 laps for the number of players up to 16 is about to go for the grid start. Just to have one example car is now being available before we proceed on to the date schedule near at the end of the month. But have a good look to see one differences to be selected to be using for the GR Colora Marizo Edition 2022. 513.62 performance point, all wheel drive, 299 horsepower, and weight, 3,186 pounds. Aspiration is turbo. Two colors are now being available when using one car to be selected during the part of the practice. There's the wind, chili pearl, and smoke. I'll have to go for the wind, chili pearl because color and white and sounds very good to be indeed to have a BOP regulation is about to be set in the mid-speed track. So for those who have ever seen my live stream video to be going as a sneak peek. But don't worry, the full part of the content video as I'm about to be went down to do some changes and minor surveillance when it comes to have some skipping part interruption by 2 or 3 seconds. So I'll have to be set and get ready to have car number one to be well previewed to have one simple car to be set to be take place in sport mode. Gonna take some time to go for the loading screen and then I'll be on my way. All right, just gonna have to went down and putting up with some main changes. Sports hard compound tires is now being set by default. Assist settings anything else that has some different options but of course because I just turn off the counter steering assist and active stability management is now currently to be going inactive so here I go and try this all-wheel drive GR Colora out so you see this interior view style is so very brand new from last year but we're in 2023 we got ourselves for having a bit best of the best opportunity to have one part of the Toyota vehicle to be exclusive for this part of the GR GT Cup. Let's start the time. All I can say this because we had to do early times to go preparation before the final round is waiting for us up ahead. But I tell you. This brand new GR Colora is actually to have some sporty version that is based from the original from the past decades. But it has four doors and the rear is now being putting up to have a hatchback car is doing a very good excellent style of the chassis. Just like the GR86 R Sid, GR Supra and GR Yaris RC High Performance First Edition. But this one is now being stated title as Mariso Edition. But this car has to be patiently to be available at Brand Central by around in September. Along with the Toyota Ambulance High Medic is now being received to be available from the viewers campaign. Just like the Ferrari Fission Grand Turismo from last year but this year all we have to do is going to find out and predict the winners for this part of the Nations Cup in the World Series Finals in Amsterdam. But take a good look folks, 5th gear is going up to speed until climbing up on gear number 6. Gonna have to be extra careful because this feature is now being actually to be going brand new for the GR Colora to have a good different style and even of course to have that good surveillance to be well seen when looking at the steering wheel at the screen. First lap down, 
ongoing attempt is now currently to have a placement record by a minute 42.630 seconds. I'm so very thrilled for driving with this good GR Colora. It's a five door hatchback and very good to be stated as a sports vehicle to be driving on a track. Very good to be mastered on the S's. Just gonna define your good line. Stay on top of it and keep it all in and all in go. As you can see folks, the all-wheel drive is very much more perfectly to be exclusively for the GR Colora, but this chassis is very much more fine impressive. A different form of the sports car is definitely much more similar to the Mazda 5, but even perhaps this might have a similarity to have the different form of the chassis and the GR brand is now being suitable for this part of the update on GT7. But I still love it. This Corolla is very much more thrilled to be impressed. So I had to keep a good steady careful, but I hope this is going to get pretty much more fine excitement for this part of the car collection quest. So I have to keep it on hold when it comes to have car collection related to the update. Well, maybe guess so. Just only two cars is now being stationed to be going brand new. But we'll have to be patient and wait. Because all we have to say is because two Toyota cars will have to put that on our list. Keep a good hold and grip. Stay on the right balance and go all the way to catch up to my ghost car. So when I'm doing live stream video. I don't know how it happened because everything turns out to be a bit fine because of the blurry skipping part glitch might be quite going happening because of the performance level to be going up higher on 1080p in 60s frames per second. I just see several of these major parts during my WIP sessions when I'm playing in the crew too. Just to have preview on the set for myself during my development times when it comes to have some extra time to do some support. Well, along with my content videos ever since I just went there for the GTWS season from the Nations Cup, Manufacturers Cup, and three round for every week on the Porsche Esports Challenge USA 2023. But after all, we got ourselves to have three Porsche exclusive themed liveries and cars itself. But I still got much more time to do some topping outs because my Total Drama OC Genesis always has to come out and make a story about three cars related to have one part of the celebration to Porsche's 75th anniversary. But still, because I just really want to watch the Gran Turismo movie so very badly to be going on the mark date schedule on August 11th, instead, it'll have to be rescheduled to be on August 25th. I hope the top Gran Turismo players and Kazuoni Yamaguchi himself is going to be looking forward to watching the movie that is going to be actually based on the true story. I know it is. It takes a lot of good moments and racing to do some more action. So I have to say this, get in there and join the fun to see some good racing action. So everything went so far out there to have the fourth lap, so gonna have to keep practice some more. But still yet to have the duration to be related to the update. Almost forgot one other thing. Just hang on folks. I'll have to do four laps and then I'll have to go exit out before moving on to have two cars will be available in the world circuits. Okay, that's good. My record has update to be achieved in 1 minute 38.65 seconds. 
So that's it for only one session. So gonna add up with 10.7 for today's driving marathon and even of course to have a sneak peek preview for myself for my live stream. But you can pause this and go down on the results after I just finished in session one. So let's have a good save on the replay and fast lap. <sighs> it takes a lot of hassle that I just really might need to give a drink of cold water because the indoor heat is still coming around me. Okay, looks like minor changes on professional reward is being dropped down on the 3.3 million GT credits. But still, I got three silvers and one gold together. Man, that was so very close that I just also remember I just took a huge finish from round six at Grand Valley Highway 1 that was just almost very close to overtake at Kimpit Dog. But it's only just a competition, so I'll have to take a stop by at the GT Cafe for having one good excellent preview on car collection. So let's see. Gonna have to scroll down and check some K vehicles. Alright, looks like here they are. Extra menu 26, Maserati, number 27, Aston Martin, and number 28 is K cars. Just to have a good pinpoint on the yellow. Six star roulette ticket, another six star roulette ticket on the engine, and a four star roulette ticket. Get these kinds of three different vehicles to have new part of the extra collection like Maserati, uh, Aston Martin, and K cars. Just to have one DB by 1964 is gonna get a billable, or in that case, you might gonna have to get the DB by for free when participate in driving missions on the human comedy. I'll have to add that to my memo, and just gonna have to go exit out and go proceed in the world circuits for today. Well, I know you guys really think that the Toyota Ambulance High Medic 2021 is so very brand new to the update, but it can be available to be exclusive at the viewers campaign. So off to America and go down at Grand Valley Highway 1 after round 6 of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup. But one other thing, so let's have a stop by at the high speed ring. So there it is. World Touring Car 800 is now being available by having a maximum reward in 160,000 GT credits in 20 laps for the Group 3 category. Alright, I'll have to add it up to my full walkthrough list just to be adding up in the meantime for the later future. Now on to the custom race. Up I go and putting up with some low settings to be well placed and good to go. But even of course to have a reminder check as you may have ever seen from the last video on dispenser characters to be well participate. Well, by the representation on dispenser cup S1 which is going to be known as series 1 race. You guys may recognize these familiar names from season 1 during watching on the first season of dispenser camp. But I'll have to hold on to it for a while. Now I'll have to get down and do some sneak peek preview onto series two for the preparation because, well, I know this is going to be quite very complicated about each kinds of different selections the cars are now being available. But in the meantime, you guys may welcome whenever you like. It'll have to go by my own personal alpha in session. Let's go race and head on over to be on the forward direction in the Big Sur Coast Highway in Grand Valley. But one other thing of course because I'm not going to have to go down and do two cars after being purchased from Brand Central and Legend Car Dealership. So it'll have to take time and then I'll have to be ready up and good to go. You know, it might be quite surprising, but 
I just putting up with some names based from the characters on Season 2 of Dispenser Cam, but you guys may ever recognize these familiar names when they're chosen by different selection of vehicles. But exception, of course, because Rhea is from India, so instead that she come from America just for three years ago. But you guys might gonna have to watch on Odd Nation cartoons in English and Spanish versions. So it turns out the starting of the tire for the first generation Corvette in the second updated version in 1958. Comfort medium tires is now being stationed by default. I'll have to add this up, go to the race shop, purchase with sports compound tires. Just gonna take some time and be patient. But I'm still playing on the PS4 version. Okay. That adds up on 506.2 performance points. Then let's race and give a good feel about the first generation core bed will be set and good to roll. I'll have to take the number 16 position and this is gonna get much more fine excited to be dropping in this updated first gen Corvette. On to the interior view. This one is much more very excited to have that good updated detail for the first gen Corvette. Made and designed in 1958 that has four headlights. On the 1953, it also to be stated as two headlights when it being released to have the very first generation Corvette. So I had to watch my pace and go for the radar. Alright, looks like I had to keep that title to be add up. Alpha test and session. Alright, very good. Gonna have to go test run and feel enjoyable for having one good Corvette is gonna be my favorite. But you know, about the first generation Corvette, it can be treated and put up to have some very good set of variation like the semi version to this first generation Corvette and the pink Barbie Corvette itself which is actually to be stated as an electric vehicle from Forza Horizon 5. But this one in Gran Turismo 7 is a gas powered vehicle. It has number of gears is now being set is currently to have 4 speed or 5 speed transmission that related to have the first generation Corvette. Kinda have to say this but well I had to keep that in mind because I had to keep a good watchful eye on Carol if she just really tried to catch up to Aiden after what happened. Well, I just kind of had to stick focused to the car itself. But you may ever notice about these kinds of different technology from the past 20th century. This one is very much more fun, unique, different when it comes to have some good first American sports car. But we still love Corvettes to this day and momentarily to have the first second, third, fourth, except the fifth generation Corvette, but we still got the C6, CR1, C7, and C8 Corvette is now all together to have the ultimate Corvette collection. On to the final lap. Gonna have to keep going. And according to the calculation that it was Lake Mueller just took the lap time in two minutes, 17.804 seconds. She did a good job out there for having a one good test run by having a good guess is the Audi R8 2007. Gonna have to keep on my pace. This test is about to get a bit challenging for only one Corvette. Okay, looks like one good grid standings is now being shown on Rhea in third place. She's going catching up onto Aiden. I'll have to stick it to the strategy. Go by turn 11. Ok, 
Okay, go by turn 12. Gotta admit, I had to do my test sessions whenever I need to do some more work in progress for myself. Climbing up on gear number 3. But you guys are gonna have to try this Corvette out in this update. This one is a classic beauty. Okay, gonna have to keep stay focused on the strategy. Okay, they're about to go in. Gonna have to keep a good, smooth pace driving style. And there you go. Lake just took the podium for the win. And then I'll have to be finished up on to 8th place. There you go. Not so bad after all. Just to have one classic court bed for a test drive. And one of my own personal race in session to be going alpha. 8th place for myself is all I need to have that one major attempt. Alright, so, gonna have to take a good look on the results. So, 2 minutes, 11.6 seconds on lap number 2 is now being set on the fastest lap by Rhea. Well, I just give her for having one land temporarily to be driving in the Mercedes AMG 663 S 2015. But yeah, in the meantime, I might have to be preferred to have a different alternative to have some major expansion for myself when it comes to making with some different kind of Total Drama fan art livery. But in that case, that's one car selection after the GR Colora is now being temporarily on the sport mode. Now gonna have to give it extra time to do some custom race momentarily. Now, this one might be doing a bit better to have a thumbnail image. Very good. So, gonna exit out just to have one preview sneak peek for only one race. It'll have to save it to the library before moving on to try out with the Maserati MC20 2020. So, let's go. Leaving from America and go to Europe for having a best Italian location to try it out for the MC20. Unlike the MC-12, ever since to be well seen on other racing games like Need for Speed Shift, Forza Motorsport, and other kinds of racing games that has the Maserati MC-12. But momentarily that is, I have to be going chose one part of the track, so let's go to the Massa circuit for only another part of the custom race. But even of course, because I'm not going to have to go for the full course, just to have two laps are now being available. For this part of the video segment in the August 2022 update, I'm not gonna have to go and give a sneak peek to have my own custom race settings when it comes to have some named titles that you may ever recognize or doing some different fine references that is. Just hang on one second. Just gonna go by date acquired. Grab the MC20, and there you go. All set, and I'm about to be using for the MC20 for the first time in GT7, ever since I just really enjoy for having the same car as a hypercar discipline from the Crew 2. On to the full course. Adding up to have one custom race settings for myself, we'll be putting up to have with Season 1 Dispenser Camp characters. So I had to go down to be reduced for the number of laps because the duration might need to do some requirements by the reduced. So let's have a good look on the car selection and drivers on the garage. Just like that and go by names with national tees. But don't worry, I'll have to fix that on Gret to be selected from the McLaren 650S Group 4 and being carried over to Aston Martin. Hmm. This one should be very good for the 177 2011 and momentarily because I'll have to be stay as always on the number 16 spot. Just to have 
one regular driver to be served as a courtesy example. So let's go have a good run and feel the MC20 when it comes to have a best Maserati vehicle to go luxury and high speed performance. I hope my Total Drama OC is putting up with some calm and messages we'll have to keep a good monitor strategy just to have some major delays by development for myself. So I'll have to take patiently and go down to do some briefing. Did I ever mention that you guys ever seen with my content video when I was playing in the Crew 2 during Best of the USB Tour Next? Fire Sky in the USST Next is much more challenging to go awesome when challenging with Alpha Grand Prix cars. It was so fun and very good to be enjoyable. But I still remember it. It was so pretty fast and challenging when it comes to go extreme with some turbocharged boost. So let's get it on and roll it out to have a countdown in 3 seconds. Let's get it on and step right up for having one main chase car for only one R33 Skyline. On the inside interior view for the Maserati MC20, it has the same features just like playing in the Crew 2, but this one in GT7 have a different technology to have a good different spec. I really hope this is going to get much more pretty faster out there folks. So I have to keep it clean and keep it concentrate. There goes Drew. I bet he might going to have to keep a good focusing if he might need to have pencil and papers to be writing out. Alright, that's a good one. Well, okay. Looks like I just put Tom in the Nissan Skyline GTR Nismo R32. But, not to mention, I just recently chose Will to be driving in the Subaru Impreza sedan. Okay. Looks like my Total Drama OC is putting me on further notice because Gabby is driving in the Porsche Taycan Turbo S with the UDRS Inspiratec as she's currently using it. There goes Dan in the Land Evo 5. I had to keep extra caution on her. She might be something else that I just don't understand. But I'll have to take a good overtake. Go and proceed and feel the faster to have a good top speed average. Going for the outside. I had to be on maintain pace. That's the ticket. Just went past Alec and Ashley. Now I'll have to stay focused to catch up to Grit in about 5.6 seconds. Close call on the first chicane. Gonna kick it up in the high gear. I bet she really wants to be underestimated me. But I'm sure of it. I will catch up to that sassy schemer. I really hope the MC20 still got a lot of good hypercar potential ever since from the crew too, folks. It could kick it up and going much more fine mid-engine layout to go speed up and faster to do some tight turns. I will gonna catch up to her. Gonna go slipstream. Going up in the fifth gear. Stay it out and go for the Ascari on to sector three. So I had to get in the fight. I will take home the podium if Greg will have to stay in first. I 
<laughs> How you like that, Grit? You're gonna have to put up in second because this Maserati MC20 will go in first. Nice and good to be achievable clear. <laughs> yeah. Who said hopper cars can actually to be well achieved to be going much more faster competitive on the track. But very good excellent details by Martin when it comes to be driving on the city course and urban areas. Now that's a good excellent hopper car to this day. First place is actually to do a job well done momentarily because i just took over two minutes with a decimal of 0 0.731 seconds after i just made one pass overtake on grit in the austin martin 177 2011 will be doing my part of the challenge but that's game you guys that's a very good car tryout on number two for the update but unless, because we still got some being patient time to have a complaining about the Toyota cars on the Ambulance and GR Colora. But the good news is, one three-star roulette ticket is complete. Now onto the replay after this. So, there you go folks. It was so outstanding that I just took one race without any further mistake for the MC20. But clean race plus having some few strategy to go maintain equals having a one adversary opponent to have the same performance. Differences and say I'll have to save the replay after this. One clean race plus beauty, passion, equals a competition of a hopper car success takes one opponent adversary to go all in and make my way towards the finish line. So one best of the replay for having one skipping part and there you have it folks. Two high performance European cars is just what I need. Much applause and have that second part of the session for having an Alpha will have to be underway. But don't worry folks, it's always about having respectful rights to have certain characters with names as well. But only in this part of the content video when it comes in to have some fine part of the reference. So looks like it takes a long day you guys, a long day and just gonna have to keep a good relaxation to go back to the GT garage as I'm about to be went down to take part in the viewers campaign to get the ambulance. So on to the car collection. So two cars are now being highlighted to be checked and go over onto the index. Very good placement on the blue Maserati MC20 as an example for having a dumb new image. Let's have a good detail by the description. A special supercar that embodies the tradition and passion of Maserati. True successor from the MC12, very much more fine, excellent to have a brand new MC20 is now being placement entered in the 2020 decades. Very much more fine, high performance, suitable for a hypercar, and much more beauty of style in the chassis. Then on to the Corvette in America. There you are, first generation Corvette 58. The origin of the American sports car. The glorious first generation Corvette. Classic, beauty, and white wall tire all together and the facelip model is now being actually to be served as a four headlight front end. Unlike the original as a 1954 model to the first generation, this one is very good to be placement to be here on Gran Turismo 7 because a perfect opportunity to have a good variation just like the semi version tune car and the Barbie movie itself to be colored in pink. But I don't know you guys, 
Should I be able to try out with the pink cord bed is being used by Barbie in the movie? I'll have to think about it because it takes tough choices and decisions when it comes to have some other Gran Turismo players to be tried out to the first generation core bed to be colored in pink. But now we have the first, second, third, fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth generations of core bed. Now we might need to have a fifth generation core bed will be added to Gran Turismo 7 later on, but it takes a many a uh, possibility when it comes to have the next update go by the roster. But you guys will understand, but it takes random choice by cars for the next update later on in the future. But even of course, no new racetrack at the moment. But even of course to have one Canadian racetrack is about to be set to be scheduled later on by next month after August 2023 update. What a tough day you guys. I just took a long time sessions for myself as I had to be went down by putting up with some major changes on video editing. It takes further delays ever since I just haven't been planned to do down on to June 2023 update. But I'll have to make it up and go with a double feature from the past and this part of the main update later on for my last time. So what do you guys think about trying out with three cars? and I haven't planned to be yet available to be using for the GT movie exclusive on the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 2018 at Ripple Ring. But I'll have to keep a promise because one special lap time challenge is now currently to be yet available later on in the next video. But it takes a long time of further schedule for myself will be planned for having all the content videos for my main part of the single session during the lap time challenges full walkthroughs and encore content videos from the GTWS Nations Cup Manufacturers Cup along with the Porsche Esports Challenge USA 2023 as a time trial event for every three weeks. But still, I'll have to be here and I'll have to be planned for myself to take part for the final race of Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup at Michelin Raceway World Atlanta for the GR Colora Mariso Edition 2022. Being treated as a courtesy vehicle, I'll have to look forward to it because I have to be planned and get down to do a UTRS Insportec livery before coming soon by sometime around in September for only two Toyota cars including the ambulance will be at Brand Central. So I have to keep a good main choice to be entered in the viewers campaign just like last year from 2022 to get the Ferrari Vision Gran Turismo. This year is going to be a different choice is going to have to take a good prediction by the guests when it comes in to have a live stream video event in Amsterdam for the GTWS finals in Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup by the day. Just only one event per day and all we have to see find out soon enough but I'll have to be there for only one content video to be served as a makeup for my last time. Well gonna have to wrap this up before at the end of the video folks. I'll have to keep working on and go continue on by sometime around in late August and earlier in September as I've been currently to be focusing on Vision Total Drama Fan Art Libraries to add up with some more team variations. Still in progress but you guys gonna have to be welcome at any time for my previous live stream videos. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like comment and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you like to see and don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS libraries, Total Drama Fan Art with card libraries and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing. Stay clean.